Hello, welcome. My name is Cameron Stewart. I'm the Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at SolarEdge. And today we're gonna to look at small rooftop commercial using our SolarEdge design tool. Let's get started. So first you're gonna to go to solaredge.com and you're gonna find the login button at the top. You're gonna to drop down to login and click on the designer. Of course, I've already done that. So I'm already logged into commercial design. So to start a new design, all we're gonna do is press the plus button and we're gonna click the commercial button. We're gonna define the project. So I always use my name, so Cameron Stewart, and I always do the date because I run a lot of designs in our system. Uh, so it's just an easy way for me to keep new designs rolling. However, you should choose a project name that's meaningful to you because when you export this design to the monitoring portal, it's gonna stick with that name. So choose a meaningful, name it could be the name of the business the name of the system owner the name of the contract you know whatever you decide is best so i'm going to just again do my name and then today's date which is 119 uh, 2023 and then you're going to pick an address so we're powered by google and the google is going to come up with the closest address to you so i picked 47505 seabridge drive that's in fremont california that's the old hq office for solar edge but you know what why don't we do something a little bit more challenging i'm going to actually do the design of the building here in roseville and that is 201 creekside ridge court roseville california that is the office that i work out of and as you can see the google recommended the address so i clicked on the address and then it dropped down into satellite view once you're in satellite view you can see this blue square now the blue square defines your draw canvas and you can see that the building extends outside of the blue square so that would be outside the draw canvas so i want to zoom out and redefine my drawing square so i zoomed out once i can move this red pin so the blue squares is a is the center of the red pen is the center of the blue square okay and you can see zoom out once wasn't enough i'm still missing the bottom here and maybe i wanted to add some car ports later so i can zoom out one more time and we can see that now that my draw canvas is redefined with this building i'm going to go ahead and design it the consumption will help us calculate the levelized cost of energy and if you have the actual green button data, you can upload the green button data, you know, the every hour for the year. Uh, but I'm just gonna make some quick assumptions just so we can get through the design. So I'm gonna say that this building uses 120,000 kilowatt hours annually. Uh, that seems probably pretty low for a building of this size, but that's what I'm gonna pick. And we can see that the consumption profile can be defined. So if you didn't upload a specific consumption profile, you can make some assumptions. You can say, oh, this is a constant consumption profile. People are in and out of the office all hours of the day and night. You can say, oh, it's evening focused. Maybe it's a packing facility and they run a, a night crew. Or you can say it's weekday focused. That's probably what this office is because we're only here Monday through Friday and we're here from around 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, so that would be what this building looks like. Of course, if it was commercial shopping hours, you could say, oh yeah, uh, they, stalkers get in the morning and then maybe business opens up at eight and then is there until 10 o'clock at night. So you have a lot of daytime and, and late evening focus consumption, or you can just say a custom profile. Maybe it's a auto mechanic or something like that. So you can create custom profiles to define what the profile might be if you didn't upload the green butt data. So I'm just gonna say, yeah, we're weekday focus consumption. I'm gonna choose that. And I'm gonna scroll down. The grid parameters are gonna be defined as what is available at the main service panel. And of course, uh, this is a 480 volt building. So I'm gonna pick 480 volts. And we can type in some notes and define the customer if we want it. We can even define an export limit. Maybe you're not allowed to export more than uh, 15 kilowatts. So we can say, or, you know, this is a commercial system. So we're say, oh, I can't export more than 200 kilowatts. So if we upload, if we load the roof with more than 200 kilowatts, it's never going to 
uh, be able to export more than that. But uh, I'm gonna turn off that toggle. We're gonna just assume that we can export as much as we want. And then I'm gonna click Create. 